The aspect that we have uh, an enormous knowledge, in fact, on culture, and we don't use that enough in Europe. And I think my experience in cultural heritage is that a lot of people are interested in cultural heritage. It's only finding a way that connects their world, in fact, their living world, with what the museum has to tell. What the museums need to learn is, in fact, um, how to deal with the power and the possibilities of, of digital media uh, and uh, how to integrate that in their workflow. Creative industries can help in making, um, in raising the quality of what is being produced, in raising the appeal of what is being produced. And on the other hand, museums, for example, need to learn how to deal with that. For example, one of the aspects that museums have problems with is the aspect of um, the use of fiction against fact. More and more it gets accepted that if you know how to make that fiction, if you know very clearly the, the, the context, if you are working very, uh, very precisely within that context, if you don't tell any I would say, the wrong information, you can mix fiction with fact. And that helps a lot in making very appealing stories, very appealing um, ways of telling information to a public. As I was doing a project on Etruscan uh, tombs. Uh, a man and a woman were buried there. And I asked, are there a couple? I said, we don't know. And they don't care even about that. And that, is, that shows the difference between let's say, the, 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 the cultural heritage approach to it, because you cannot know that they are a couple, very difficultly. On the other hand, the storytelling needs that, right? And so I pushed them a kind of, okay, you need to tell me yes or no, right? And they say, most probably they are a couple, right? And then you can work with that, right? And you can do storytelling from that point of view. That's the difference between the two the different worlds. And I think by learning curators, for example, the, the laws and the, the needs of storytelling and the needs of creative industries um, is so important, in fact. And so the future of museums is, is very much about finding communication channels, in fact, on, um, on, on, on conveying that knowledge and that information that is present in museums. And digital technologies can be very instrumental in that. So you need to visualize, in fact, that context that is missing, that the museum cannot show because it's not there anymore. And in this way, make those objects, give them a context, give them value. And tell also why they are valuable for you today as a normal citizen. Um, and learn, for example, why a lot of things that we do today rely, for example, on Etruscan or Roman know-how. It was invented in that moment, right? And we still use it. That are kind of things that people are interested in.